Alright, Scouts 311 back in Skyrim, and we are heading to White Run to continue our main quest here, which is the Before the Storm. We just got done doing the Golden Claw, and we picked up the Dragonstone, um, which is basically um, uh, like the quest item that we need to get to continue the game. We are, uh, um, well, that's about it. So we're heading to Whiterun. He said when you get to Whiterun and you talk to the Jarl, he tells you to go back and get the Dragonstone. Or his apprentice, his wizard, does. So we just got it early. Before we even got there. Which saves us a little bit of time. So this is not a long run to Whiterun. So, uh, uh, we are going to just get, okay, there's an orc. Oh, no, there's a wolf. Look at that. Thanks, orc. God, that guy snuck up on me, huh? I didn't hear him. Thanks, buddy. Who's this guy? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Hey, pi Go home, little mother. <laughs> piss off. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you going to do? Cry? Back off. I don't have to take that from you. Oh yeah, you do. Wow, well, look that I'm not even attacking him with anything but my hand. That's how tough I am. What's with this guy's what is this guy's problem? Damn orcs. Take it. So that's the kind of stuff that sometimes you don't want to just skip through stuff because crazy shit happens like that. I mean, where the hell did that come from? I need everything need to put my uh, shield that I'm using uh, favorite it so I can quickly switch back to it when needed. There we go. And I think I leveled up there. Did I level up? Yes, I did. So I'll go some stamina loving. We are now level nine. So let's check sneak. Sneak is very important. If we can do a sneak move, we're gonna do a sneak. There we go, sneak attacks when I have weapons do six times damage. Let's take it. Okay, that should help big time. Alright, let's keep moving. So I don't want to do too much sh um, travel showing, but like I said, this isn't a long trip. Uh, let me know though, do you want to see me just doing all the traveling? If you're watching this and enjoying it and want to see more, leave me a comment and ask. tell me if you want to see me travel. I'll do it. Um, I'd prefer kind of to skip the traveling and just get to the quests and get to the temp, you know, the dungeons. I won't sk skip the dungeons. So this is like a five minute run, so. And there's a white run right there, so we're pretty close by. Now my other playthrough, I was trying to get all, like, all the locations. All the skill books. Do you want me to grab all the skill books, that, you know, that I know of, or just the ones when I get to locations that I'm gonna like? There's one in here. You know, I don't know. I mean, should I, I'll run in here and grab it real quick, just to show where it's at. Um, but I don't, let me just let me know if that's something that you guys want to always have me get all the skill books I know of, because there's like White Run's got a whole bunch. I can grab all of them. Um, all we do is head in this direction. Of course not. Uh, now there, I believe this is a quest to come down here. We need a key to get in there, and so we can't. And there's, I'm pretty sure there's another book down there. 
But what we want to do is head up here and go around to the back side here and go in this. There's an office. So unlock the doors, add a block so it's not the easiest lock. Even though we got it there pretty good. Our lock picking is increased and there is a skill book. Where is it at? Right here. A game at dinner. And that is an alchemical, alchemy skill book. So we got that. So yeah, there's actually like a little note here that kind of gives a backstory of uh, some guy wants to buy this, this guy's uh, shop. And the note is from the Black Briar, and I think it's kind of funny that this guy, the owner here, has their mead like under his bed, like he's um, are we yeah, we're still hidden. Like he, you know, he likes it or something, but he's embarrassed. He doesn't want people to know that he's got the other meaderies stuff. You know, that's kind of funny. That's the kind of stuff in this game that you can watch for. Little, there's another lockpick level. That's an expert lockpick, so it's a good one to, to go for. Now, most things that you, if you steal actual items, um, you can't sell them, and then until you get like a fence or whatever. But these gold obviously doesn't matter. Um, you can steal whatever that. Like that necklace, you probably won't be able to sell that. At least uh, right away. I don't know what the Windhelm letters are. I don't think I've ever gotten that book. I don't think it's anything special. No. Some books you find you can actually, I think, get skills off of or quests. You can get quests off some of the books. Um. The one for, there's like, uh, The Legend of Red Eagle is a book I know of that gives you a quest. And then, like, Forgotten Legends, maybe, is a book. Or Forgotten something. I don't know, I, I don't know all of them. Not close. The Legend of Red Eagle is a definite one. And then, that's a, that kind of a mini, like a miscellaneous quest that's, that's actually worth going for. You need to because, uh... Please. You get a pretty good weapon through that, if I remember correctly. Alright, so we can head on through. There's actually a real quick thing here. The first time you come this way, there's always going to be a fight between the compa some of the companions, which is like the warrior guild, and a giant. As you can see, it's right there. Now, if you want, you can actually take a pop shot at the giant. Just make sure you don't hit one of the companions. Because if you do, they'll turn on you and start attacking you. Which is frustrating. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. And now, if you like, didn't hit the giant with anything, she's like, you know, n we got that taken care of. No thanks to you, or you know. An outsider, eh? So if you pop you her, you take a little pop shot at him. You like, she. We are brothers and sisters in honor. Get a, a nicer remark from her. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. All right, thank you. And since you actually hit the giant, you can loot it. I don't think you'd be able to loot it. All we got was our arrow back anyway. So we are on the the White Run outskirts, basically. And uh, yeah, so the companions there are that's the the warrior guild of this of Skyrim. There's a Nurnroot right here. 
There's actually in this first farm. I have trouble not trying to get everything personally as a gamer. That's my. I'm an OCD type of gamer. If I know there's something there, I have to go get it. There's a skill book in this farm. I don't think there's a skill book in any other farm. In the other farm. And you could also pick up this wheat here. You can sell it back to the farmer. It's like you're working for him. Or you can just keep it. I'm going to keep it because the wheat's good. It makes heal potions. That's one of its properties. So if you can get in this door without getting caught, which we should be able to do right now. You gotta watch out. There's always a guard walking around here too who can spot you. That was weird. I wonder if you went in the house. That was kind of weird. The door opened and closed on its own. Okay, we're good. There is a book. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it's at. There's a book in here somewhere. That we want to get. I think it's actually... While I would like to try and play on third person, it's easier to loot in first person just easier to see everything and to make sure you get it yeah the books in here I saw it I'm gonna see what's in here though there's gold let's grab the gold obviously you don't need to sell gold so it doesn't matter if you steal it the books right here the importance of where it's a one-handed book which is actually good for our character so that's one that you'd want to get because um, we are we're definitely working on one-hand weapons. A dagger specifically is what we're going to want to do, but we're going to do one-handed swords up until we get to the daggers. And there's another farm down there which doesn't have anything real. It has some more wheat that you can uh, harvest if you want. But that's about it. Now, there's going to be actually... There should be some Khajiit outside of the town. And... uh one of them can teach you sneak, which I'm going to try to make use of. And we may actually run out of money. I'm not sure how much our sneak skill has already gone up a little bit. It's going to be more expensive. I think it goes up 10 gold every time you level. Every time you level it, or, you know, from 30 to 31, and then you go 31, 32, it's an extra 10 gold right. than it was the first time. This guy can take you to any town, main city in the game. That's how you get to the main cities quickly. Um, hold capitals, there you go. And you can buy a horse here if you want, which we're not going to do. And here's where the Khajiit are, right outside town here. And the one with the darker fur. There, Kayla. Kayla can train you in sneak, which is good for our character. So let's do it. I'm going to train as much as I can. I should be able to get five levels of sneak out of her. So you try to train when you can, because uh, you easily level up past, you know, before you're even able to train at times. If you're in a dungeon for a while, you may level up your character, and then you never even was able to train. So we just got to sneak up to 36 already. So that is very nice for our character. And we want to get a deadly aim, which is requires 40. So we want to get there, and we definitely want to get Assassin's Blade, which requires 50. So muffled movement is nice, obviously. Noise from armor is reduced 50%. Light foot is kind of eh. You won't trigger pressure plates for traps. It's not a big deal. A silent roll I really haven't used, so I'm not sure how great it is. Sprinting while sneaking executes a silent forward roll. I guess it's just a quicker way, probably, to uh, sneak, and you don't get, you can't hear it. And then silence is also obviously great. Walking and running does not affect detection at all. And then Shadow Warrior, you can crouch in the mi and, like, and it stops combat for a moment. So, I, mean, I guess, and you'd be able to maybe reestablish yourself for a backstab or or get out of the way. I really don't have any actual practice using almost any of these because I haven't done a sneak character as my first one. So I'm going to be learning um, as I'm playing. 
So now this guy, I always persuade him. You always pass the persuade check. A lot of times you get a speech upgrade. By doing that. Say persuade. And there we go. Got a speech upgrade. And that should put us to level 10. Before we're in white run. Beautiful. So yeah, that's what you want to go with there. Um, so we can choose... Um, what do we want to choose? Let's do a little bit more stamina. And we could go with muffled movement. Oh God, I really want deadly aim, but we still got four more before we get that. So let's, just, let's go with muffled movement. So we're even sneakier-ish. Sneaky-ish? Sneakier? Or whatever. Okay, so we're going to end the video here as we get into Whiterun. Um, and we'll continue the next one in Whiterun itself. And there's quite a bit of skill books on the bottom here that I will get, um, I think, because I can get them real quick. I know where they're at. It won't take long. So we'll do that in the next video. And we might get a new partner, actually, because Fainal, we've trained him out. So we're going to work on getting some other companions. There's at least two more we can definitely get in here. So we'll do all that in the next video. So thanks for watching.